Well, hello and welcome to Toe to Toe Extra. I'm Andy Scott and we've been joined on Fight Week by British Light Heavyweight Champion Dan Aziz. Dan, great to have you in. Thank you. And former fighter, now trainer, Gary Logan. Dan, thank you for coming. It's a busy week for you because yeah. as soon as we finish this, it's pretty much straight up to Liverpool. Yep, it is. Um, but yeah, but this is chilled out. It's, you know, evens out all the stress <laughs> of fight week. So, yeah. We haven't cool. stressed him out yet, Gary. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> We're working on We're it. We're working on it. Well, it, it. This might raise the blood pressure a little bit. <laughs> yeah. One of the interesting factors of your most recent camps, been out to Canada sparring the most feared puncher probably in all of boxing in Arta, yep. Better Be Ev. Um, we're going to have a look at some of the footage now. What was it like sparring him? And just talk us through what makes him so dangerous. Um, I mean, this is all good stuff, but I can only imagine what it must be like facing him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, 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 like it, it says what it does on the tin like, do you know what I mean? Um, you can't oh, let him overwhelm you, you no. know? I mean, there's nothing coming back and obviously, because the power is being so respected in all of these guys, there's just nothing coming back. I mean, look at him, he's doing this to Voidis, and, and Voidis is a, an acclaimed fighter, and he's just taking these guys apart. I mean, this is, I mean, he's, you know, the, the highlight really of, in itself is says it, is what it, it is. power in both hands, Dan? Yeah, it is, and what's so, un even he underrates him, his own boxing ability. Like, he's not just a puncher. Like, you spar with him, mm -hmm. he can actually box as well. He's got good footwork as well. But where he's so heavy handed, he doesn't really need to show it um, mm -hmm. or display it that, that often. And, um, you know, even when I'm in there with him and around him, he'll even say, Yeah, you know, one day I'll be a good boxer, Dan. So I'm like, oh. do, you know, do you know what I mean? He'll be like, Don't, One day I'll be a good boxer. I say, You, you, you what? Do you know? Well, so, he was here because he actually used foot movements yes, to exactly. just step outside Joe Smith there, yeah. you know? You said and just roll it right hand over the top. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Across you, Gal. The yeah. reason I was going to bring this up is because you said to us just off camera, yeah. when he was preparing for Joe Smith Jr. Yeah you saw something in the ring. So what was he doing? Yeah, no, so there was, um, I think he was preparing for Joe Smith. Joe Smith has a good, like, he double jabs and then swings with a, a right hand and he was practicing how to counter it. And then you see, I think it's just before he knocks him down the first time, Joe Smith comes with a double jab and is about to throw a right hand and then he nails him, nails him, nails him yeah, yeah, exactly. And he was practicing that. And I was even, I remember I did a text bar and all, I, all they wanted me to throw, I think I threw a double jab right hand and I caught him with it and then there was a big time in the camp when that's all they wanted me to throw. Mm -hmm. Keep doing that double jab and um, overhand because I was catching him with it and yeah, he just practiced it until we got it nailed on and straight away, as soon as I saw that, I said, bloody hell, that's what you call repetition and yeah. do you know what I mean? It's interesting because he's, he's right on the tip of everyone's tongue at the moment because if things play out the way they should, I mean, he's injured till 2023, but he should have been fighting Anthony Yard mm -hmm. uh, in October, yeah. and he could fight Callum Smith. If you're either of those guys, have you seen anything from what we've just seen there or from his previous fights where you think there are areas where he, they, those guys can capitalise? The both of them are, are good counter-punchers. Both of them are good counter-punchers, and, and that's what they're going to need to. If they do lead, they've got to land. Um, uh, they're both very... I mean, Anthony's much more fast twitch, isn't he? He's much more fast twitch. Mm -hmm. Stan was saying earlier, he's, he's sort of like the same stature as Baturbiev, and he hits hard, yeah. you sparred with him. And when he does hit, he's got to land. He's got to land, and he's got to, he's got to, you, you're going to have to get that. You know, one thing you're seeing here is when he's overwhelming you, there is no respect. Yeah. There is no respect for what's coming back. And you've got to make sure you are deterring him, just the way Buster Douglas deterred a young Mike Tyson when he took him apart. You know, he's got, you've got to be able to deter him with your, um, with your ability, your movement, and obviously your punch power to a certain extent. Boxing alone is not going to keep him off. No. If you're relating to Callum Smith and relating it to the spa that you had with Better Be Ev, yeah. are there times where, yes, you're under fire, but you can think about that sort of catch and counter or, or throwing a counter shot, or is it just hell? I mean, I can't think of um, anything worse of, uh, of, of your backs on the ropes and Better Be Ev is pushing you back. I mean, that sounds like... Literally, when the gates of hell open, that's where you are. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's, outer ring of hell. That's definitely where you don't, you don't <laughs> want to be in a corner or on the ropes against Batavia. Yeah. Like, maybe, I don't know, 
when you watch him, it might not look fast, but when you're in there, it's like sledgehammers coming from mm. everywhere. You, yeah, you don't want to be in in like backed up against mm. him. And um, yes, yeah, like you, like Gary said, I think sometimes he's a bit too. Um, too aggressive because he doesn't care like he wants to get you out and that's where you know someone like a, your Callum Smith or your Yard where they're good counter punchers mm. they got to make it count like and they can make it count do you know what I mean so um I yeah. think Callum, Cal- sorry Cal- to cut Callum, you. Callum, yeah. to cut across you, we'll cut across yeah. each other. Callum yeah. Johnson did do that. Yeah. He, did, he couldn't sustain it or he didn't capitalise mm-hmm. on it. Exactly. Um, I mean Callum engaged him up close. Which was yeah. just like, I mean, that's, I mean, that's like that. Yeah. Like he just engaged like... him up close. He's, and he, you know, he turned that left hook and it was a beautiful shot. Mm-hmm. But obviously he never followed it up. You've got to ask yourself why. If you look at his face, even before he dropped him, he's getting busted up. Yeah. And this is what this guy does. He busts you up while he's landing. And he throws those punches in such quick clusters. And they look tend to look uncouth sometimes, yeah. but they're so effective because he's so heavy handed. Um, I can see... Both of those guys landing at range. I think obviously um, Callum Smith will, will, has a better chance of landing at range and keeping him there with a barrier. You know, um, Callum's got a Callum's got an exceptional coach um, in in Buddy McGirt, and you know Buddy's been there. Buddy's fought at top level, and uh, and Tundi's got it all to do to prove to us that he can operate at top level for his fighter on a top level night. You know. Can I just finish by saying, like, as boxing fans, I think we're, the, the three of us are probably be in agreement. There's nothing more satisfying, entertaining, nerve-wracking than watching a born puncher. And mm. in your eyes, is he the definition of that? Is that what makes him so attractive that actually, like, holy smokes, yeah. you know, when he lands, you just don't quite know what's going to happen. Do you, do you know what's funny, talking about born punchers, when I was out there, his coach said... Um, where he was raised, I think there might have been like some sort of volcanic, like something happened, like and you know it got in the air and they. He's think, a mutant. It turned I knew into it. a mutant. Yeah, like I'm telling you, they, like, they, 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 they believe like maybe whatever happened, it got into him and yeah. like it's made him because yeah he's a natural puncher and it's weird because he's not the kind of punch that lights out straight away. It's like yeah. like it's just. It's, it makes you like, oh, gosh, like that kind of yeah. power. Like, you know, so. it was like that Wayne Alexander. Wayne it's Alexander for yeah. oh, when Wayne hit you. I mean, <laughs> one time I sparred with Wayne and he actually concussed me. Yeah. But I had dropped him. But I don't remember dropping him. Yeah. Wow. It's the That's only the time. It, it's the only time in my um, pro career that I've ever been concussed. And I've sparred with Lloyd Hannigan, Mickey Watson. So, I mean, you know, I sparred with some decent hard punches, but yeah. I don't remember much of that spar. No. All I remember is that Adam told me that I dropped Wayne with a body shot, but Wayne definitely hurt me. Just even uh, even getting hit by a jab by Wayne was like, ah, yeah. damn. <laughs> and it's funny. Yeah. Um, Conlon the other day, Mickey Con- Michael Conlon, when he boxed Mariaga, he said to Adam, every shot, and look how much he dominated that fight, dominated on the inside as well, but he said, every shot. Mariaga hit him with hurt. If he hit him on the bicep, it hurt. He, if, if he hit him on the on the wrist, it hurt. So there are fighters like these guys that they're just yeah. punching mutants. They're just like everything that lands hurts, you know. Yeah. And well, I mean, you know, more power to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Oh, great way to leave it. All I'm say is, well done. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well but done you know what? It prepared you, know, you for the rest for sure. of your career. Well, you it go, let so. you know yeah. that this is what. I can expect at some point in Definitely, my career. Yeah. Maybe not Definitely. this guy, but some other guy is going to land on you hard, and you and you got through it. For Mentally, sure. you got through it. Definitely. You know? Yeah. Well, it sets you up for this Saturday perfectly. Yep. So, Dan Aziz defending his British title against Shaq Pitters. Remember, you can watch that Sky Sports Arena from seven o'clock. Thank you, and join us next week. Sky Sports. Feel it all.